I would like to welcome you again today in this second session on understanding the power of vision. Last time I talked about the future you don't see. You will not be able to realize. Many people understand where they are going. Many people have already contacted with the future. They know what they need in their marriage. They know what they need in their finances. They know what they need in their career. But they lack what it takes to get there. It is not enough to know where you are going. You need to know how to get there. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15. The labor of the foolish weareth every one of them because he does not know how to get to the city. The labor of the foolish. He is laboring but in foolishness. And because of that he is weary. If you don't know to get where you are going, you will suffer frustrations. If you don't know to get where you are going, you will be confused. Many people are worn out. Many people are frustrated. Many people are tired concerning their endeavor in life. Concerning their marriage, concerning their business and their career. Because they don't know how to make it. They don't know how to turn things around. By the grace of God, through this 10 minutes, God is going to give you something that will turn your life and destiny around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You need knowledge. You need knowledge of how to get where you are going. Vision answers on the platform of knowledge. The Bible says my people are perishing for the lack of knowledge, not because of lack of vision. I want to show you this morning where are you going to get the how of life so that your destiny will open up, so that your future will open up. In the Bible, we have people who made it via the pillar of information. One of them is Jesus. After Jesus knew where he was going, number one, he looked for mentors. He looked for mentors who will groom him. He looked for mentors who will show him the way. He looked for mentors who will give him understanding, knowledge, and wisdom in order for him to be able to realize his destiny. The book of Luke chapter 2 and verse 46 and 47 make us to understand for three consecutive days Jesus was seated in the midst of doctors of the law and lawyers both hearing from them and asking them questions. How do I make my vision? How do I make my future a reality? And he got it from them. So number one, you need mentors to mentor you in your marriage, to mentor you in your business, to mentor you in your career. Without mentors, you will suffer. You will be a suffered head. Without proper mentorship, you will never make it in life. Number two, Jesus engaged in ministry of books. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. As his custom was, they delivered unto him the book of Isaiah for to read. And he discovered what was written about him in verse 18. Until you are given to study your life, to study your life, you will never recover your destiny. Vision answers on the platform of information. The information could come from people. The information could come from books. 
your life will be the same five years to come except for two things the people you meet and the books you read we have history of three hebrews boys four hebrew boys daniel meshach and abednego they had great future they were in the land of captivity they were to become political leaders but they needed the ministry of eunuchs the bible makes us to understand they were brought into the palace and they were put under the ministry of eunuchs to be shown the ways of the nation of Babel, Babel, Babylon, Babylon. Daniel chapter 1 verse 3 and 4. And the Bible says, as for these four children, God gave them understanding. He gave them skills. He gave them knowledge. And in all matters of understanding that the king inquired of them they were found to be 10 times better as if that was not enough Daniel chapter 9 and verse 2 the Bible says I Daniel understood through the books of Jeremiah the prophet because of the information that he got from the mentors and the books Daniel, Meshach and Abednego became political figures, great political figures in the land of Babylon. Daniel chapter 6 verse 2 and 3. The Bible talks of Daniel who was number 3 as the president. He excelled in the palace because of knowledge. Because of knowledge. Because of knowledge. Your life will be the same five years to come except by knowledge that comes your way. Knowledge paves your way to prosperity. Knowledge paves the way to success. It says this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate there in day and night and observe to do. Then you shall make your way prosperous and have good success. God wants you to prosper. God wants you to be successful in life. But it will take knowledge. It will take adequate information. To be informed is to be transformed. To be uninformed is to be deformed. Behind every stagnation, confusion, and frustration is ignorance. You need to treat the disease of ignorance for you to make it in life. It was through the ministry of books and Gamaliel that Paul made it in his life. Through the ministry of books and Gamaliel, he made it in life. It is your time. I say it is your time. Wherever you are watching this video, I prophesy God is going to give you information that will destroy every form of deformation, every form of stagnation in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. What information does is to transform you. What information does is to transform you. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, the Bible says, be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Knowledge transforms the way you see things. Knowledge transforms the way you think. Knowledge transforms the way you speak. Knowledge transforms the way you act. Adequate knowledge changes your perspective of life. Adequate knowledge changes your attitude towards life. It is your perspective and your attitude to life that determines where you arrive tomorrow. Listen to me. You need both secular knowledge and spiritual knowledge to make it. Many Christians fail in life because they only have Bible knowledge. They don't have secular knowledge. God
God made the heaven and the earth. When the earth was without form, he came down and formed it. God understood the place of heaven and earth when it comes to his success as a ruler. When you despise secular knowledge, you are doomed. When you despise spiritual knowledge, you are doomed. The legs of life is one hand secular knowledge, another hand is spiritual knowledge. So you need both academic knowledge and spiritual knowledge to excel in life. You need to go to school, school of the spirit and school of professors for you to make it. It is time to go back to school. It is time to train yourself concerning your marriage. It is time to train yourself concerning your business. It is time to train yourself concerning your career. It is training that make you to reign in your life. If you are not trained, you will be enslaved. God is going to deliver you. Who is your mentor? What are the books that you read? It is the mentor that you follow that determines where you will end up tomorrow. Twelve disciples of Jesus, they were none entity. They followed Jesus for three and a half years and they were made. <laughs> By the information they were getting from him on daily basis. I see God changing your life. I see God changing your destiny. It takes information. 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 So sit down. Locate the books that will help you. Locate the people that have gone ahead of you. They have made it in the area of your concern. Sit down under their tutorage. Sit down under their classes. And you will make it in Jesus' precious name. Locate somebody who is successful in marriage and they will show you the way of success in marriage. Locate somebody who is successful in ministry. He will show you the way of success in ministry. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you will never fail. I decree and I declare you will arrive at your destination. Till next week, God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen.